In this morning's Rethinking Retirement, I'm joined by Marvin Mitchell, founder and president of Compass Retirement Solutions. Marvin, we're talking about income factors to consider in retirement, and typically you start with health care. Is that right? Absolutely. It's a new, new year, a new season, and we have to make sure that we make new decisions and better decisions about income. For example, one of the worst things that you can do when you're considering retirement income is seeing the market going down and taking money, too much money out of your portfolio while the market is going down. You think about it, not only is your account not breathing because it needs time to recover, now you're taking income. You know what, that's kind of like you just got out of a really bad relationship and instead of taking the time to heal and get better, you start dating someone else before that one last one had a chance to heal. You're taking money out of your portfolio before it had a chance to recover. That's not a good thing. So we have to consider that. We have to consider taxes when you're taking income out because if you don't withhold en enough taxes, you can get a sign, a bad sign of a tax bill <laughs> at the end of the year that you didn't expect. So beginning of the year, we need to start thinking about the end of the year and the problems that we will have if we make bad tax decisions as well. I think this is an analogy we can all understand and comprehend in terms of our finances too. Absolutely. So good info there. And as far as a plan for long-term care, what yes. can you tell people about that? Yeah, long-term care is one of those things that you don't think about until it's too late. Going back to the relationship analogy, don't know what you got until it's gone, right? <laughs> you don't even think about the long-term care until somebody gets sick. Well, by that time it's too late. So. You need to start thinking about a proactive plan to make sure that you have something in place that if someone gets sick for an extended period of time, you have maybe some type of insurance to cover it so that you can protect not just your legacy, but also future generations as well. Because we can't just think about surviving when we retire. We gotta think about thriving. It's not just about us, it's about the next generation, the next generation, three generations down the line. So let's start making better decisions. This is a new year. Let's vow to ourselves that we will make decisions and let's get our get this book. That's your that's your New Year's resolution. Read this book. Retire early. You can get that book by visiting rethinkingretirement.net. And it outlines so many concerns that you just mentioned. And it looks like it's a quick read too, Marvin. Quick read, yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, you can get that book at no cost by going to rethinkingretirement.net. That is rethinkingretirement.net. Fill out the form on the website and you'll get a free book. Absolutely. Marvin, thank you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Simon. The correction in housing prices is one of the biggest in decades. Macro Trend Advisors, which is actually a real estate firm, says the U.S. in the midst of the second biggest housing price correction, and it's actually the post-World War II era, the biggest in that era. Macro Trend analysts say potential buyers feel uneasy about interest rates, so they're holding off on buying. One report says housing prices are up 31%.